Hello, welcome back to another underrated Bronze Age comic book. When it comes down to John Byrne, there is no dispute that the X-Men is likely the biggest title associated with his name. Okay, Every, Just about everybody that I know love the X-Men with John Byrne. You know, I can't recall meeting anybody that did not like those issues. But I'm sure it's not a hundred percent consensus. If it is, great, but uh, over the many decades of me being a fan of comic books, I can't recall <laughs> meeting anyone that did not like John Byrne and the X-Men together. But there's a book out there that is fairly significant as far as John Byrne and the X-Men that is not an X-Men book. I'm sure some people guess it by now, the moment I just said that. But to me, it's underrated because, you know, I understand the hobby has migrated away from being creator-centric. You know, back, you know, in the 80s or even early 90s, artists work I still revere by fan more so than keys and first appearances and covers um, there's many things today that are more sought after for most collectors instead of you know the first time an artist drew a title drew a character or the first time an artist draw a book the first published work but for me, when it comes down to John Byrne and the X-Men, this is the most underrated book because it shows you his first work with the X-Men. Here's my nice copy. Um, not, I would say it's probably 9-2-ish. Not a book that I need to have 9-8. It's a beautiful if. As often you have a beautiful Dave Cockrum cover, right? At this point of his career, John Byrne was prolific. He was blowing up. You know, a lot of people don't talk much about how productive he was. Um, you know, he was doing three titles a month. You know, there's not a heck of a lot of authors out there that can handle three titles. Most can barely handle one title per month, but Back in this period, he was doing Iron Fist, Marvel Team Up, and then The Avengers. Okay, so it is uh, not enough uh, praise, I don't think, have been mentioned about John Byrne prior to his immersion with the X-Men. You know, a lot of people associate John Byrne with X-Men 108 through 143. Um, the art inside is of course beautiful and what's neat about early John Byrne is in many ways um, he drew the character many of the character with the day cockroom look okay it's not quite he didn't um, have his own imprint on the characters yet so and, and you, you can see this in X-Men 108 as he took on the title, but check this out. It's a great book, great story. Okay, look at that Wolverine. Surely, if you look at Logan there, it does not look like the Logan that he drew later, right? As far as facial uh, features. And, um, you know, even um, Aurora. Uh, you would you can see, you know, um, a slightly more um, Dave Cockrum shape as far as the face of Aurora. Let me show you real quick. Um, uh, where is that? You know, sure there are hint of uh, Aurora with with the look that he later conformed, but you know when it comes down to Check it out. Here you go. Look at that face on Storm. 
Okay. Certainly, that's more of a day cockroom, uh, more sharper uh, chin look, right? But look at Phoenix, Jean Grey. Okay, that's more of a Dave Cockrum look. So, you know, I, I thoroughly enjoy this run as far as 1 to 15. And to me, this book, you know, if, if you are a fan of the X-Men and you saw this book, okay, certainly, and if you're a fan of John Byrne, should, certainly you would have huge hope and wishes that he may be coming to the X-Men. I'm not sure if this book, when this book came out, I'm not sure if they announced that he's gonna take over the X-Men yet. For those that know the answer, let me know. I don't think, I don't, from what I can find out so far, I don't think there was any kind of announcement publicly that he was gonna take over the X-Men in the near future. But to me, very underrated. The first time John Byrne drew the X-Men. That's this for this video. Thanks for watching.